All right, YouTube. Uh, I finally got around to making my first video of 2009, and I've got a very special unboxing for you. So, as many of you know, I spent a few days in New York uh, last week. Um, got back on Monday morning, and while I was there, as usual, um, I consumed more than my fair share of Mountain Dew. And also, while I was in New York, I thought I would drop into a very special shop. And I don't know if you can see that, but while I was there, I dropped into the Apple Store, Fifth Avenue. As I'm sure you all know, I've got my iPhone and I took it with me uh, to America. And I thought there's no point in me taking my iPhone charger and then taking a US adapter for it and playing around and everything like that. So instead, I have uh, opted to go for a US iPhone charger. And well, let's get on with the unboxing. Um, before we start, I should say I did actually take the. Um, actual charger wall plug part out while I was in America to use it um, but I haven't opened what's underneath so part of this unboxing will be new to me and part of it I guess you know I've already done but anyway here we go um, as you can see the packaging is very uh, very sleek very sort of Apple um, and different to how the uh, you can buy spare UK charges, and I think they just come in a cardboard box. Um, this little green dot here um, is on the packaging because the original versions of this miniature charger that uh, Apple produced um, had a defect on them to do with the actual pins, so they recalled them all and replaced them, and all the new ones have that little green dot on them to tell you that it's the new version of it. So here we go. Um, yeah, so have a look at this for a second. So it's uh, actually clipped in using the little USB bit, and there we go. I, this thing is absolutely tiny, and you can see there's a the green dot on it again. Um, a little bit of. Uh, wrapping here. I didn't actually take this off, I just slid it off and then slid it back on when I was done. Um, but there you go, I mean this is the charger. This thing is absolutely tiny and I'll just get my um, UK charger in a minute just to show you a comparison. Anyway, so this is the bit I've not been in. Uh, comes with another um, iPhone cable, that's quite useful actually. I've got tons of these things, I mean absolutely tons of them, so I'm quite impressed with that. Um, let's see, okay, there's nothing else in the box. We've got here sort of paperwork, so we've got Apple USB power adapter and what looks like one year warranty. Um, the lady who served me in the Apple store on Fifth Avenue did actually tell me that the warranties uh, the warranty works as an international basis as well so this is covered even though I've brought it back to the UK which I thought was pretty good um, there you go I mean just to give you an idea of size you know I mean just look at this, look at this thing I mean even compared to my thumb it's literally not much bigger than the end of my thumb it, it's I mean this thing's scary but if you just hold on one second, I'll be right back with my uh, UK charger. Okay, sorry about that pause. No, I don't normally put them in my videos, but I realised that this was in the other room. So, here we go. This is the UK version of the charger. Um, as you can see, it's actually a two-piece assembly, uh, which consists of this and then, you know, the actual sort of plug. This was the design that came with the original iPhone, even in America, um, and it's just a different... Bit that snapped on the end of it but when they brought out the iPhone 3G they redesigned it and well I mean I think that just says it all really doesn't it you know put that up uh, up here you can 
can see, I mean, the, the size difference is just insane. It's incredibly, incredibly small this thing is. And it does the same job as, you know, well, basically, I guess, this whole thing put together, um, except for the 110 volts. But if you think about it, you take the two pins off the front, and what this amounts to, hold on a second, I can't get a good grip, is all of this does the same as this entire unit here. I, I just find it incredible. Um, so there you go. Anyway, that's my sort of random unboxing video of the US version of the USB power adapter for the iPhone. Um, it was, uh, how much did it cost me? It was $29 plus tax, so it came to about $31. Um, I mean, what's that? It's about £22, I suppose. But I feel it was worth it, um, not just for that trip, but also because I'm hoping to go back to America later this year, so I'll still have my iPhone then, so why not? Anyway, uh, I'll be back on YouTube really soon. Okay, thanks.